is this Hoover Spin Scrub 50 Power Scrub Deluxe. These are, uh, Hoover's been selling these things forever. There's really very little difference to them as far as cleaning capability. They all pretty much do the same thing. There are some differences with the uh, cosmetics, some differences with the sizing of the bins and what'll fit in one and what'll fit in the other and vice versa. What we're gonna do is kind of disassemble this a little bit just to get inside and make sure that there's no leaks, nothing going wrong inside. I noticed that there's not really too many videos of these on YouTube. Now I already have done a couple things, nothing major. It was uh, just power washing the outside of the machine and this cleaning that out. I have not cleaned these. Um, I will be disassembling this, taking that apart and cleaning it out. So first thing, we're going to remove both the tanks. We're just going to set these aside, kind of out of the way. All right, so now we have a uh, better look at the machine here. Just for convenience sake, we're going to take this back off like that so now we have a better look inside here now I've already taken the brushes off so what we're gonna do with these they're still good but there's like lint and crap all over them so we're gonna have to take this apart and clean out these brushes hopefully it's not too difficult but I am gonna use some gloves for that uh, I don't know how much these cost. I have not priced them out. I think Hoover makes or has made two or three different styles of these. I want to say that they have one that's a little bit more aggressive or one that's not as aggressive as this one. can't remember offhand, but we're going to disassemble that. And I haven't actually torn into one of these, but I don't think it's all that difficult. All right, so now I'm just going to remove these four screws. Now we're going to pull these screws out. They're marked by the triangles. You can see right here. There's gonna be a few that you don't wanna remove. You don't wanna mess with that. You don't need to bother with that. It doesn't go into that top cover. But we're just gonna pull out these triangled screws. So I like to use these little things it's because it uh, helps with not damaging stuff. Now we have access to everything in here. So it probably is a good idea to change these out. I don't have any on hand. Since everything in here is waterproof anyways, I'm just gonna take this back outside, hose off everything with the pressure washer from a considerable distance, by the way. And uh, it's got this lint screen. Everything else seems to look good. So be right back. So while the machine is drying outside, we're gonna service this. So with these little clips, you just push those in. And you just pop this off like this. You have access to all the little brushes. Except for this one, of course. This one, you gotta pull out with a screwdriver will do that it does but it's just movement in the shop it's not a big deal all right so I'm gonna undo this screw so we're gonna wipe this out Much cleaner. Set that aside. We're going to do the same thing with this. 
Just wipe all of this crap out of here. Realistically, this is something you should be doing fairly regularly, especially if you have pets. That's likely where most of this hair came from. The difficult part though is of course, trying to get all the hair off of these. But I'm not gonna show you guys me doing all of these. I'm just gonna get what I can off. All right, so sort of replacing these. This is about the clean, as clean as you're gonna get them. So we're just gonna stick these back in. Still a little bit of stuff in the bristles. But that one goes in the middle. Good. Throw these other two back in. There we go. No bristles stuck inside. So that's ready to go back on the machine. All right. I washed out the inside, covered up the motor with this tape, and we're just gonna put the top cover back on. It goes back on a lot easier than it came off. Two screws. Assembly goes back in. Perfect. Stick the nozzle back on. Before I do that, make sure that this, if your machine has one of these, make sure that that's all cleaned up of any lint. Mine's obviously good. Now, I just have to hose both of these out, and then we'll put this thing back together. Try it out on an area rug or something. All right, so here we are at the house. It's been a while since I've cleaned this rug, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a good shampooing, especially because she's made a mess on it a couple times now. Isn't that right, Harley? Anyways. So I've got some of this uh, Bissell multi-allergen stuff. I use it in these Hoovers just fine. I've used this one in my other Hoover, which like I said earlier, is just like this one. Um, no issues. It's basically all the same stuff. Random cabbage, of course. She's gonna run as soon as I turn this thing on, but anyways, let's uh, fill this thing up and see what we can do. All right, so the solution takes in place. Let's see what this thing will do. never featured this on the channel before, but this is some of my favorite stuff. Folex Instant Carpet Spot Remover. Works pretty good. Let's see if it'll, how well it'll take these out. Then I'll run the machine over. All right, so we're gonna take our time over these spots over here.
and the safety inside the bin just popped. So we're gonna pull this out. I guess we're done. Yeah, that stuff looks nasty. 